Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know we ended off last episode thinking about a few things to do, and it might be a good idea just to get the end out of the way, because I feel like then it'll set me up to make a slime spawner there, um, so we can get some slimes pumping out for the slime pearls. But I still don't know exactly what I want to do for today. There's so much that we can get into. I really think that I want to start getting into auto automated crafting so we can start storing stuff in our system that we want. I don't know where I want to build all of that. That's ultimately the predicament that I'm in right now. Like, do I just want to set up a big-ass building for automated crafting? Or what do I want to do? You know what I mean? All the way back in episode one, I mentioned that I want to avoid kind of just building a whole bunch of stuff underground. But I don't think it would necessarily be a bad thing to just put my auto crafters underground. I was more speaking along the lines of not wanting to build my entire house and my storage system and everything underground. Because I would literally just build a lab under there and that's all I would do. I would just stay there and just sit there the whole time. But I also am an advocate of if you're trying something new and you don't really like it to go away from it because there's no point in playing if I'm not having a good time. So depending on how things go with me avoiding building underground, if I really, really start to not enjoy having to build stuff on the surface, then I'll just go ahead and start building a, like a lab or something. I'm not going to avoid it just just because. If I'm not having fun, then there's there's literally no point. So I want to continue to have fun, and I don't want to make it feel like a chore for myself to play this, because it's not. It's not so far. I've enjoyed every bit of it. But if it ever starts to feel like that, then that's when I know, okay, something's wrong, and I need to, I need to go back to what I know and to have fun with it. Okie dokie. Let's see... What do, I want to, what do I want to get to now? We have a ton of stuff stored, but we don't have many storage disks, which we might need come soon. Maybe I make a bigger storage disk just to prepare for what might come. Let's see, how many of these can I make? Only four. Oh, I'm out of silicon. How much quartz do I have? 1.5k. Let's, uh, let's make some. I'll just toss them over here. And maybe I will put an importer here. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a receiver over here. Hmm. I might move this into our base, actually. That might be a good idea. That would be a good idea, I think. Okay, let's toss these back in here. Let's just make as many as I can, too. Okay, so that's a bunch. We need 81 for the next disc, which we have. Oh, are we out of silicon already? <laughs> that's what we ran out of. Good lord, man. Yeah, we're gonna need... Do we have raw nether? Oh, we have raw nether quartz. What can we do with this? Put it in the energized smelter. We'll just... Hey, get out of my way, you silly goobles. Let's toss this into here so we can get some more nether quartz. That'll be a good amount. Damn. Don't we have more silicon and more quartz? Let's make some of these. We're out of these. Make some more of those. Yeah, I'm really feeling like I just need to move the furnace at this point. So let's take this and take this. Okay, so we can do this. We can put this barrel here. We can toss the upgrade into here. Then this here. That Oh, we didn't take the item pipe. Let's take the item pipe then. Pipe out of that. Drop that in there. And we'll allow this to output out of the back. Ah, this is what you, you're going to need fuel too, huh? Well, that means we need to remove this sign. So we can put an ender gate on it. Will it let me? Well, maybe I need to put the augment in first. Yeah, there we go. So now this can... Ooh, it, it ain't too fast, is it? So it'll output out of the back. Now we need an importer. And we will make an elite importer. And go downstairs. Put this on here. So now this will import that yeah there we go now it's outputting like crazy oh but that uh that gate can't keep up this uh ender gate basic can't keep up so we need to make a better ender gate maybe the hardened one can keep up so we're gonna need hardened energy cables and we're gonna need another ender core okay maybe we should uh maybe we should just go for the blazing i don't i don't think we need to though 
We can, I mean, we can make some. So we might as well. Let's make some. Okay, I guess we will. Oh, let's just grab these quests too. Maybe we'll get some more cool stuff. We got a hardened capacitor. That's good. Okay, well, let's go over to the power orb. Or the power energizing orb. Drop these in. Get those charged. Grab this. I guess we make the ender gate blazing. Eh, we might as well, just so we can have some. This will 100% keep up. I mean, we can't even produce enough power to keep up with that thing right now. <laughs> okay, so this can now take... Hmm, this thing is quite annoying, though. Oh, I know the better spot to put this, so we can also have an exporter on top. Let's take this, and we'll put it on the bottom. Because I think... Oops. I think nothing's in the bottom right now. Yeah, we'll put it there. So it's still getting power. Do we have to change it to... Take fuel input. There we go. Oh, left. So left is input. Right is none. The front is none. The top is also input. The bottom, the back is output. The bottom is fuel. Okay. So now that's set up for us to do, do things on. And then we can, instead of this barrel here, we'll probably put a crafter on the side of this. So then we can start doing auto crafting. But we took a little detour there to get that set up. Um, but it's for future purposes, so it is okay. And those processors automatically went in to our system. Now we need to make these. Okay, 45. What did we run out of? Processors. Let's make another stack then. Drop them in here. They'll go into our system. Do that. Make those. Okay. Now we need, I think, advanced ones. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make a stack of these. Drop those in. We'll take this. We have nine sixteen Ks. And we need advanced processors. How much diamonds do we have? Not too many. Okay, well let's do this. We probably need to go mining. What is oh silicon. We're out of silicon. Well, let's toss those in. And we'll do this. Grab these. Now we can make a 256k. Do we want to turn this into a disc though? I, we probably do for now and we'll upgrade. We'll do more later. Okay, let's make a 256k storage disc and toss this into here. All right, sweet. So if we take fuel out or uh, fluid out, we are only 12% full of items. So that's good. We are good to go. Sweet, we are prepared. We're prepared for the future. We have some black sand. Let's take some. And just toss it into here. So it's uh, cooking up nicely. Sweet. Okay, we're going to have some glass. We have more cobble in here than th that's in here. But that's fine. Not the Morbius. <laughs> we have quite a bit of gold. That's good. We have a quite a bit of redstone already. We're going to be using a ton of that though. So the <laughs> that is not the most. Ooh, we got energizing steel from the quests, which gave us another quest reward, which gave us a hardened capacitor. Nice! Power mod, baby. The power mod is something that I'm going to step into for reactors, but not for now. Uh, I want to step into the power mod once we get a... once I figure out a renewable source of ice. And once we figure that out, then I will want to mess with that. We only have avocado toast. We still haven't found an avocado tree to get avocados ourselves. Still, I'd like to do that though. And I'm also, I probably want to also plant some seeds onto our field over there, which means we're going to need more inferium. How much inferium do we have? Probably not much because I, I wasn't logged in. Oh, we, st we have 1.4k. That's good. Okay. Yeah, we have 1.5k. Let's upgrade some of this um, so we can get some more farmland. Our crystal is dead. Can we use this crystal for it? Nope. We need the master crystal. Well, let's make a couple of those then. Oh, we have no inferior essence left. Whoops. We're still getting some. Look at that. It's farming. Nice. Okay, we have 26. We can make more farmland. Boo, 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 boo. Um, how much more did we need? I think we needed three rows. 
So that should be 21. Yeah, I think that's 21 on the bottom that we still needed. Do, 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 do. Yeah, three rows. I remembered. Then we can put uh, more seeds on here. What seeds do we have? We have eight inferium seeds. Okay, so we can do one more row of inferium. And then we will do some regular seeds for wheat. So we can grow some wheat. And before those kick off, we probably want... Well, let's check if wheat has a compression recipe. Not what, wheat. Maybe maybe we can put it in a compression recipe. Do we have hay bales? Can we turn this directly into wheat? We can. Okay, so if we make a compressing drawer... Uh, or compacting, rather. Compacting drawer. Then maybe we can store wheat in it. And we'll just put this on up here, maybe? Maybe we'll put it right here. Maybe we'll have a spot for some drawers right there. And grab my tools. So we'll lock that. We'll grab wheat. Grab all of the wheat. And we'll drop the wheat into here. There we go. Awesome. Sweet. So it can, it can be compressed a lot. Okay, so that's configured. Now we want to link to this one. And we want to add that. So this is now linked to our drawers. Check the wheat. Hay bales. All right, we have compressed hay bales now. Nice. So let's grab all this wheat and the seeds. And let's check it into the system. And that should automatically go into here, right? Yes, it did. All right, sweet. So now whenever our farm down there is growing wheat and then it drops it into the system, it'll all go into here. We can hold 41k wheat right now. That's good. Are we almost full on these? Nope. We have upgrades on all of these ones, except for that one. We could probably do with an upgrade then. Let's drop one on there. Just to be safe. Okay, so all of these have upgrades now. These ones need it too. That's one, two, three, four. And drop them onto here. Those are good now. This one can still hold 40k. 40k. Okay, so these are fine. How are these ones? 4.1. And this one's up to 32k, and we have uh, our sand and dirt in here. We probably want to put black sand in here, huh? Yeah, we'll probably take out this uh, rhyolite. Let's uh, remove this real quick. Let's. So we're removing it from the network because once we unlock this, we don't want the system to automatically throw something in that rhyolite slot because it will. It'll automatically just toss a block in there because we have external storage on it. And external storage just tries to store anything that's a part of the network into the drawer system automatically. So it'll try to throw whatever it can into those drawers, which might be useful later once we set up a ton of drawers to try to store as much as possible externally. But for now, we don't want to do that. Let's grab the black sand because I feel like we're going to have a ton of that more than the this rhyolite here. Yeah, once we start digging stuff, it's going to be much more. I feel like there's going to be much more of that. Single add add. Okay, now it's added back to the system. Sweet. Da -da -da. What do we want to do now? Oh, carrots. Do carrots have a block they can compress into? We do have carrots down. Oh, we have carrot crates. Okay, so they can be compressed once. But we have carrots stored in our mob farm down there, so... Just gonna grab all these and then drop them so they go into my backpack. And we will take them down below. And since they're in my backpack, I can just toss more of these in here. And what we found out last time, which I didn't know, what you can do is you can just do this and it'll put anything that's in its uh, storage network automatically in the drawers. So look at that. Nice, put all the carrots in there. What about our potatoes? Do we have potatoes in here? Because we can also store our potatoes over here. Yeah, let's do that. Take the potatoes out. That should have taken them out of here. Nice. So I don't have to deal with my hotbar. We just do that. Perfect. Would you look at that? Beautiful. We don't have many skulls yet. Uh, but we, what we could do is we could get a nether star. Maybe I'll do that right now. Uh, I think there was a reason I wanted the nether star. But if we're going to do that, if we're going to fight the wither, I'm going to show you guys something that's really cool. It's the uh, Hostile Neural Networks mod. This thing is really awesome. What you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a deep learner and you're gonna need some model 
frameworks and I will show you why once we get to it. So let's make this deep learner here. Let's make four model frameworks. We could actually make more, but I'm just gonna do four. So the deep learner here, you can put models in here, these uh, model frameworks. To use these, you need to right click on an entity. Um, then it'll build a data model for that entity specifically. And what we're going to do is we're gonna build some wither data models. And there is a reason for this, and it's a very good one. This is one of the solutions that I use for the ATM star. I've never gotten to the ATM star, but I've stored hundreds of thousands of nether stars before. And this is exactly how I got to that point. Let's do this. Maybe we can make some witherproof glass too. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, we need wither skeleton essence. Ooh, so there are reasons for us to make certain seeds then if we want those. I think the tinted glass is also witherproof. It's tough enough to, to withstand withers. Okay, that's good. So at least we know that. So let's go ahead and make a box somewhere for this wither and let's not do it near the house. We'll do it over here. Oh, there's a waystone right here. What? That's crazy. Been here this whole time and I didn't even notice that. So it's on 70 and then we'll build this out. Is this in the center? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's five. We'll do five and then we'll go up. Two, three, four, five have a wall here oh am i all out i am one two three four five and then we will do another wall right here this okay okay and now we will make a door right here for me do this and hopefully the wither doesn't get out it might and in that case whoops but hope it does not I have wither sounds off, by the way. There we go, we killed him. And I feel like I'm about to die. I don't know how many hearts I have. Well, I'm eating, so I'm healing at least. How many did we get? Oh, I'm stupid! I didn't use my model frameworks. Damn it, that's what I was literally gonna do. <laughs> oh, we got some heart containers. So typically, to get these heart containers, you actually need to find a goddess statue. Uh, and then you can trade in these right here, the spirit orbs. You trade the spirit orbs in on the goddess statue to get these heart containers. But since we got some from the wither, we can just use them permanently and you, you permanently gain health. You can use, I think you can get up to 20 hearts extra. I think Let's see what we get out of this uh, tombstone reward chest. We got a curse of bones. Okay. So before I did the silly thing and killed it before even doing what I wanted to do. Let's just build another one and show you why these are useful. <laughs> before I completely messed it up. So you do this and you right click with all of your data modules and then you put them into your deep learner here. So this, once you kill a mob, it gets data on the mob like we're doing here. So we're killing the wither so we can get data on it. We killed him. We got more heart containers. Very nice. Sweet, we're already up to purple hearts. You see with a deep learner, it says we have faulty data. And what does that mean? The more and more you kill the mob, the more accurate that the data model is. And the reason you need these data models to be accurate is because they can produce things called predictions. And in terms of the wither, prediction. Once you get a prediction, you can throw it into a loot fabricator and the wither prediction, you can either get nether stars and this is new. You can also get miniature yellow hearts. This was something that was not in before. So this is really awesome that this is a recipe, but before you could only take wither predictions and you could get nether stars from them. And the more accurate that your data model is, the more you could actually get from it. But what you can also do is you can just make a simulation chamber and you can throw the faulty data models into it and it will still do whatever you wanted it to do. You just won't get the loot every single time. Let's go ahead and throw this on here and this on here because these things need power and we'll see what this looks like. So we have four and this is because we could have a total of four loot fabricators or uh, we could have a total of four simulation chambers. I don't know if we can afford that right now because what we're also going to need, we're going to need a ton of these prediction matrixes, which can be quite expensive if you don't have auto crafting going on and also ways to get these resources automatically. 
But we'll go ahead and make some. Oh yeah, you see there, we already ran out of glass panes. We have a ton of glass though, so let's just do that. Let's make 32 more of these. They get expensive once you start running a ton of them. And I'm actually going to run, I wanna run four of these. Hmm, how do I wanna line these up? Go behind them with cabling. So we'll do that. We're gonna need more blazing gates, I believe, to deal with this much power. I think they need bla I think they need a lot. Let's grab these gates. Maybe these will work on them. So let's put those on there. That's filling up. I hope that's gonna be good. And we'll just place a blazing on this one. So what we do, now that we have these simulation chambers done, pull out the data models here and chuck them in. You chuck the data models in. It's costing 2,560 FE per tick. So we are gonna need better than the basic because the basic only produces 2,000. We'll take this blazing back too. Let's go ahead and just, we'll make a hardened one. We're gonna need another ender core and we're gonna need more of these. This is a little bit of a detour of what I wanted to do today, but I think it's a good thing to explain and also a good thing to maybe start get going early. But that's okay because I mean, I was still kind of iffy on what I wanted to get to do. And since this is something that I know I'm gonna need, I'm excited to do it already. I think it'll be really good for us. And our power can keep up with this uh, the entire time, which is nice. Not end for gate. We want it, not an ender date either. We want an ender gate and we want the hardened one. So now we just plop these on. Now we're gonna need importers and exporters. We need to get back there. Let's do this and we will drop. Oh, nope, you are silly. I'm not silly, you silly. Drop those there. These have the hardened one on there, right? Nice, okay. And now we need exporters. Hmm, this might be a good idea. Instead of making all those exporters, we might just wanna grab a barrel, sophisticated storage barrel, and we'll upgrade this to iron. And we'll just have a barrel output to these. That might be a good idea instead of what I was gonna do. We'll run this, take the item pipes, gonna need more item pipes so now we do that not that do do this grab this here and now we just need one exporter just one exporter do this then we need cable Hook this up to that and we'll tell it to output these and before we hook it up so it's fast, we'll go ahead and do this. And we'll drop this in here. And we'll tell it round robin. So round robin mode makes it so it goes to each output one by one. So it makes sure that each of them are getting the equal amounts um, that is getting stored in the barrel. We're gonna need a stack upgrade. We'll probably do a speed and stack upgrade. So let's do that. We'll do one speed upgrade. And we'll drop these onto there. And then we'll go into our network and toss these in. What the hell? Why does it keep doing that? Toss those in. And now these should start cooking up. Oh, I see. I need to, before these can get to work, actually, I need to make sure that they're at least a basic model, which means I need to kill six wither. Well, at least we have it set up already, but I don't, I don't think I have enough wither skulls to complete that task. Maybe I have enough wither skeleton pieces. I have quite a bit of these. Maybe this will uh, solve my problem. Okay, yeah, that's that's plenty. That is absolutely plenty. You can also automate uh, wither building and stuff, but we're not gonna worry about that at the moment. We got more hearts too, right? Yeah, nice. We can only use 20 of those, but it'll be a nice welcome 20 extra life. This is the way you play modded Minecraft, baby. Wither skeleton who? Okay, so we already maxed out the amount of hearts we can get from these. But that is A-OK -okay with me. What else can you use these for? Nothing? Okay. Now this could be considered a little wasteful because we're just going to toss them in there. You can continuously kill the wither until you reach maximum, the maximum effectiveness on your data model. But I don't particularly feel like killing hundreds of wither manually. So I'm going to kill six to get the basic model and then I'll just take the loss when throwing the unfinished data models into the 
simulation chamber because they'll upgrade over time and then they'll eventually become a flawless data model or a self what is it called um self-aware it's a self-aware data model and that has a 99.5 percent uh effectiveness of getting a wither prediction so not 100 percent, of course still some loss there but it's very very close Okay, we have our basic model, and as you see, now we need to kill 12, and on the next level, then we're going to gonna have to kill 24, the next level 48, 96, etc. It's going to keep going up. But now that we have the basic model, we take those out, and we can toss them, not into the gate, we can toss them into here, and they will start working. As you see, it's running the simulation. It has a 5% accuracy, so it could potentially fail. But that's okay, we don't, we are not too worried about that. It failed, but we got a general prediction. A generalized ender prediction. Oh, we got one wither prediction already, that's nice. Okay, with the wither prediction, what you can do is then you can use the loot fabricator. Once I figure out how I want to set this up, probably do it like that. So we place this here, we'll place the blazing on there. So this is getting filled up. It's even draining power while it's passive, okay. We can toss the wither prediction in here. Then you have to choose what you want. So we're going to choose this, and then it will go ahead and build it. Nice. It built the nether star. So now we need an exporter again, and also an importer. And we're out of basic processors, and that means we're also out of silicon. So go up here, grab some nether quartz. Chuck those into here. Those will get ate up by this and get cooked into silicon. The importer recipe. Aren't these cooked up? Are you lying to me? Oh, duh, I didn't make the I didn't make the basic processors yet because we were out of silicon. Silly me. Just drop them directly into here. Importer. Let's do this. Now we can place the importer on the back. Like that. Exporter here. And look up wither prediction and drag that into there. So now it will automatically input every wither prediction we get and it'll output another star. Isn't that cool? What all did we get from the wither uh, while we were fighting him? We got two withering souls. We got a familiar receptacle, seven nether stars, seven miniature hearts, and we got a ton of these voodoo puppets and spells. It drops a ton of those things. Take like the gates as well, and then we'll store the rest. Okay. What can we make with this? We can make another star crux and wither skeleton skulls. This is used if you make wither seeds to grow the wither seeds. I don't think I'm going to do that at the moment. I mean, it's already, it takes insanium and I can't afford that. So <laughs> we're definitely not doing that at the moment. This is, uh, are these getting harvested or is the, the range not big enough? Oh no, it's big enough. It is harvesting. That's good. Is this place chunk loaded? It is. Okay. It's chunk loaded. That's good. So it's doing its thing. Get our whole base trunk loaded, so that's good. All right. All right, all right. Check what we can make with some nether stars. I think there was something that I wanted to make at some point. Ah, uh, it was one was the infinity one, so I'm going to go ahead and make that for building purposes. And I think the other one was the infinite range booster. Was the other one that I wanted to make? Yeah, the infinity range booster. Okay. Oh, now I can also make withering processors. I don't have enough blaze powder can make these now we can make the infinity range booster but I feel like that one doesn't go in here oh it does now infinity range for RS wireless only works in the same dimension oh and then can't we make a dimensional card from this yeah we need more nether stars and more infinity range boosters how many nether stars do we have already should have quite a few right yeah we have 10 nice that's why that's awesome so we need more infinity range boosters which means we need more eyes Need six more eyes. Quartz and rich iron. Man, recipes are so deep now. <laughs> oh, for one infinity range booster. It's... Oh, we're out of netherite. Damn. That's what we're out of. Well, well we're gonna need that. How much power is that using now? It's still only 100. That's good. Infinite range for RS. That's good. So we have infinite range now. That is good, that is good. But we are out of netherite. Huh, we might need to put this uh, on the back burner because we need we need ancient debris. Does the mining dimension have ancient debris? It does. Okay, so the mining dimension has ancient debris. Maybe we can make a quarry from this mod here, which we're going to need 
We get quarry plus. I mean, the best quarry you can make is the chunk destroyer, but it's very, very expensive as you can see, and we can't make that right now. Maybe we make the quarry plus, which we're gonna need a workbench plus for all the modium nuggets. We are out of diamonds. Oh, we just don't have diamonds stored in a, we don't have diamonds stored in something that can compact them into the blocks. That's okay. We'll put the workbench plus right here. And what's this gonna need for, not the chunk destroyer, we can't afford that. Let's look up chunk, oh, not chunk, uh, quarry for this beautiful mod, the quarry plus. So we want the, maybe we want the quarry plus. We have everything, so let's grab these out of here. And then we can do this. We'll drop all those in there. We're gonna tell it that we want a quarry plus. Oh, it's passively gaining power, that's cool. Well, I think we can give it more than that. There we go, nice. So we have a quarry plus. I don't know exactly how to use this. One, I know how to use the chunk destroyer. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's the same way. Uh, and if it is, we're gonna want some kind of storage that can connect to our network easily. And that will be the ender chest which we need this ender pouch for, which is easy to make, that's good. But well, we're gonna need two of these actually, which means I think we won't have enough blaze rods. Let me check how many we have. We only have six. Let's go over here to activate these so I can get more blaze rods, hopefully. Let's just stand over here, hope those uh, husks will spawn and give us some blaze rods. It might be good for us to just go to the end. I mean, not the end, to the nether and get a blaze spawner. I believe the blaze spawner would work Let's check my spawn eggs. What eggs do I have? I do have a slime one, a silverfish one, a spider, wolf, cats, and husk. Hmm, a duck egg, what in the world? We have none of these blaze rods. Are they getting destroyed? Are these not the same blaze rods? Do they have different data? They do, what in the world? Have I been just destroying blaze rods this whole time? <laughs> Link to this one. Let's remove that drawer. We'll do that. Put those in there. Lock it again. Maybe we can put the agitators on them from here and they will at least have more range than they do. I can hope. I don't know the exact stats on an agitator. It might be worth looking that up. I'm unsure, but I know that we can at least place it on. Let's place it on the husk and see what happens. If it activates, while I'm far away, then we're nowhere good to go. If it activates from here. Okay. How far away though? Still. Okay. And from over here. How far? We are two chunks away. It's still working. Still spawning. Eight chunks. Maybe. Is eight chunks the limit? Or can we just not see the particles anymore? So, oh, that's eight chunks. So it's, this is a separate chunk. Eight chunks away it spawns. Okay, so nine chunks away. How far is my house from this spawner? Nine. Maybe it'll work that far away. I don't know. Let's check our blaze rods. Are we storing any? We're not storing any. Oh, because I don't have it connected to the system. Are you picking these up now though? We put six in there. Nope. Let's turn that off. You dropping, are they NBT blaze rods? That's gonna be really shitty for me. That would be really dumb, unfortunately. You dropped a blaze rod. That's the same one. Oh, I need to link it. I'm, uh, I'm really confusing myself right now, aren't I? So add that back to the system. Then we can link this back up. And it should be good to go. Should start storing them, right? Maintenance, baby. Yep, it stored it. Okay, so these are the ones it needs to store. I uh, must have put a different one in there from a different husk. So at least those are working. They work from at least over here, I think. Yeah, one of them just died. Let's see. They just spawned. I saw the particles. He died. I can't see anything from here. I'll just monitor the blaze rods. And see, I'm in no rush. I want to see if this works. You can also check zombie flesh. These are this is more uh, this is more of a prominent drop. The zombie flesh. It's working. It's working. It just went up. 
Check rod. So at least it's it is working. I mean they're they're spawning from all the way over here. I don't know how oh yep, the, another one just spawned. We didn't get a blaze rod from it, but another one did spawn while I was away. So, oh, it spawned again. Let's check the spawner. Maybe I can improve the amount that spawn. I mean I can lower the spawn delay, but that's all I can do. Yeah, that's all I can do right now. And I think I have to remove the agitator. So let me grab a cardboard box. I think I'm gonna need to break it. Not break it, but I think I'm gonna have to pick it up. So it is it is spawning them from all the way from our base with a spawner agitator. So that's nice. Okay, so I did I was able to pull the uh agitator off just by putting the cardboard box on. So that's good. Now what's the delay on this? Min spawn delay 100, so... Oh, I can't go below 100. I think this one's already maxed out. Maybe I need to... Maybe I just need to try to get a different spawner. Which means I'm gonna need redstone comparators. Grab these, and let's grab the rest of the cardboard boxes and check the spawners. This is a husk. That's good. That's the one we want. Okay, is that all of them? No, we have one more. And a husk. Okay, so those are the husks. So we want all the spawn ranges on these are massive. That's right. So we want to put away this one. We will put away this one. Keep this out and put away this one. So we'll grab these and we will drop these into our storage. Now we need more blaze rods for these. We have nine, so this is an investment here to do this. Oops, I just made it worse. <laughs> God damn it. I forgot to put nether quartz in my offhand. Damn it. No. Spawn range seven, which means it can spawn way out here, So, which means I'm going to have to put it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, at least we know this is a husk. And I'll put this all the way at the bottom corner. And we know this is a husk. And I'll put this right here. So we need the spawner agitator on you. You're maxed out. We'll put it on the Enderman. And we'll put it on the Wither Skeleton there. I'm not worried about the regular skeletons at the moment. We'll leave those as is. So those ones will continue to spawn while I'm gone. Or while I'm in the house at least. Yep, those should continue to spawn. Very nice. Maybe we can change the max amount that can spawn. Yeah, plus one spawn count. Ooh, that's a piglet heart. Ghast tier. Well, they, they, they won't even be able to keep up with that then. How many gas tiers do we have? We have 12. We could throw a couple on there. I don't think the speed will still keep up regardless though. Oops. God damn it, I did the same thing. We'll do 10. Then we'll do 10 and 10. Okay. Turn this back on. Maybe that'll, I mean, it says it's going to spawn. It has a higher entity count, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to spawn a lot more. But we did learn something, at least. We learned that the agitator does work from an increased range. We got one more blaze rod back. That's good. <laughs> we need more than that, though. But they're working, which is very cool. The agitators were nice. That was a nice find. I didn't know if they would still work because if you hover over an agitator, it does say that it has reduced functionality. So I thought that meant that it literally basically did nothing, but it looks like it still does something at least from a range. We got some loot. We did get some miniature yellow hearts, uh, which means we could increase our health even more. We have seven miniature yellows. Uh, how's our wither predictions going? We could get more if we tell this to change it when it gets a prediction. Oh, it needs prediction matrixes. We are all out of prediction matrixes. See what I mean? You will run out of these very quickly. They're already up to advanced, which is really nice. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. And when a wither prediction comes in, I'm going to change it to the miniature heart. Uh, so I can get three more of those. Are we just unlucky here. Yeah, we're just getting unlucky. Upsetting. We got we got a few when we had 5%, and now we have 25%, and we're not getting it. Well, that's my luck. It is my luck indeed. Am I that unlucky? There we go. Change it to miniature. So I can get some miniature hearts. And there we go. Now I'll change it back to nether stars. 
Okay, so we have 10 yellow hearts, which is good. That means we have the max amount that we can make with yellow. So now we need to make 10 of these. We're going to be low on diamonds after that. <laughs> we can make 10 of those. And now oh, we're going to need enchanted golden apples. Good lord, that's a lot of gold. Good thing we can hold up with it. Yeah, we still have... How much gold do we have left now? Okay, now we can upgrade these. Boom, we have 10 yellow hearts now. So that's another tier of heart that we can have. So it's going to be... Let's check our hearts real quick. Actually, let's check it with this on. Let's check our stats. Our health right now is 135. Let's see how much this gives us. Put this on. 160. So we gained 25 hearts. So each of those yellow ones is 2.5. Damn! That's crazy. Yep, we're up to these pinkish pinkish dark dark pink color i don't know i don't know what color that is but yeah that was cool we can put our deep learner in here and that's neat Ooh, which means we're gonna want to make more models because we said that we wanted to go fight the ender dragon right so if we make this if we make these data models here then we can use them on the ender dragon while we're fighting then we can have predictions for the ender dragon Sweet. Gosh, we're all over the place right now. Goodness. I have so much that I want to do. That's why. <laughs> okay, let's uh, toss these into here. We have these husk spawners. How many blaze rods do we have now? We have six. Sweet. Okay. Which means I can go turn off that spawner. And before I forget, let me grab some nether quartz. Put that in my offhand. So I don't waste blaze rods this time. Let's go over here. Turn this off. Oh, he just spawned. Come over here, bud. Come on. Goodbye. Okay, let's get rid of one of these. Oh, I'm gonna need a cardboard box. Let's get rid of, uh... Oh, damn it. Get rid of that spawner there, which is that one. So this one is the husk spawner we want, right? Yep, this has spawn range 7, so let's tone that down to, to 2. Now we can put an agitator on it, and then we will be able to get blaze rods. Ooh, a creeper, creeper. Oh man. We need a, we need a creeper for what we want to do. So come over here. I need your data, thank you. So we have his data now. Gosh, yep, here we go. Here we go getting all over the place. We need a bucket of XP. Go up here, take this. If you have a bucket in your system, you can automatically just go up here and click it for a bucket. So that's nice. So we need this. Then we can get GM chicken feed. And then we can make a creeper spawn egg. And the reason we need a creeper spawn egg is because we wanted to make lily pads of fertility. Because we, since we wanted to make lily pads of fertility, we need that one specific drop from them. Where is it at? This right here, the catalyzing gland, which are dropped by creepers and ghasts. This is an interman skeleton wither. So let's drop this onto here. Now it's a creeper. And let's put an agitator on this because I want this to be active. How good are your stats? Pretty okay. Uh, we can put some all the modium on you though. Let's let's maximize this bad boy. Take the nether quartz out so it doesn't uh, raise it. So that's as low as it can go. You are as low as you can go, and you are already as low as you can go. Let's just lower this one too then. Okay. It used to be you could lower them all the way down to 20 ticks, I think it was, but that has been changed because it was super unbalanced. It was super OP. Let's put an agitator on that so it has increased range. And now we're going to have to come down here and disconnect our trash pipe because we have new drops from a new mob. Let's come over here, turn this back on, and now things will start kicking off again. Probably going to have to wait the full duration because we changed what spawns in it. Yep, there we go. Or we should have some creeper drops. We have gunpowder. Didn't drop the uh, catalyzing gland yet, but that's fine. Put the gunpowder in there. We really need the creeper to drop more than just gunpowder. Drop your catalyzing gland, damn it. Oh, we got the nebulous heart from the Enderman. This is good. I totally forgot to put this in here. So let's just go ahead and do that. We'll put that there. Those have been getting destroyed the whole time. Zombie hearts? What can we use this for? Rotten flesh and gold nuggets. Okay, we want to store that too. These are drops that I've missed, man. Damn. 
Go ahead and put that there then, the zombie hearts. Those have also been getting destroyed. Well, that sucks. Oh, there we go, another freaking weird blaze rod. So there's two different blaze rods then. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't like that. I really, I really don't. What's different about them here? I don't see what's different about them. Damn it, well that ruins my whole thing with the husks, with having two of them. Shit. Well, now I'm just going to put a spider on there then, because I want string. I was going to wait, but I guess I'm not, because that other husk is causing problems. Put that on there to take the agitator off. Put the spider spawner on there now, I guess. Well, that, that really does blow. Ah, uh, it ruins my plans. Oh, well. I just have to get a regular blaze at some point to uh, remove those husks. Oh, we got the catalyzing gland. Yeah. Now we can toss this right here. Sick. A spider died, but he gave us nothing. Okay, we got string and spider eyes. So now we can just toss that there and toss that there. What else does the, does the creeper drop anything else that we need? I don't think this one does. At least we got the string being stored, which we need to pull the we need to pull the string and spider eyes out now. Pull the string out, spider eyes. Get these out and drop these into here and that into there. Um, nothing else that I want. If I missed anything, oh well. Let's just do that. That's really upsetting about the, uh, blaze rods, but that's okay. We have catalyzing glands being stored. We have spider stuff being stored. The catalyzing glands are important for our lily pads, which we can go ahead and go make. We just need, uh, oh, we need to cook this. We need to cook one of them for some green dye. And we'll keep the rest. So let's do that. Do we have any lily pads? Oh, we're gonna need more. Yeah, we can only make one. Damn, I didn't know that. Oh well. Okay, that's oh that's okay, I guess. All right, let's do a let's do a quick reset on what we want to do here. We want to find the stronghold of security. So what we can make is the structure compass. Oh no, because we're out of netherite ingots. Oh, okay, full full mental reset. That's exactly why I built this quarry plus. That's exactly why I built this quarry plus. And then we were working on, right here, we were working on this ender chest, which we needed blaze rods for, which we have some blaze rods. Right here, let's make an ender chest and then another ender chest. And we can grab some blue dye. We need two blue dye, because we're gonna color code these. And then we're gonna need an importer, a really fast importer because of the quarry. And then I can start explaining <laughs> what I am doing. Oh man, that took a huge detour. That's fine though, this is fine, it's okay, it's all right. Let me take this, I'm gonna need that. And we will just put the basic one onto this for later. Okay, give me this. Let's sort our backpack out. Okay, let's re hard reset the mind so I can get to what I was gonna get to <laughs> I'm sorry guys I'm sorry but you guys can at least see how freaking hectic modded minecraft can be like this is normal this is normal for me at least this is literally normally how I play I'm not gonna lie I just go from thing to thing to thing okay let's see so we have our starting area let's go ahead and claim this area so it can't be touched claim this whole area here all right, let's go this way. Let's change this so I can see the correct border. All right, I can see the full border of the chunk I'm in now. Okay, let's set up this bad boy. Does it not mine a whole chunk? Okay, it does not, that's fine. So it's gonna mine this area when it has power maybe? I don't know. Oh no, I can't reach because we don't have dimensional. Uh, I brought this, but I, that's not gonna be fast enough. Damn it. Need to go back. I need to grab an upgrade, a pipe upgrade. Yep, one of these. I need to upgrade it to diamond at a minimum. We could grab the ultimate, but we're out of netherite. And we need to set this up. This this uh this chest right here. So here's what we're gonna do. Before I forget, we're gonna place this. We're going to color code this on the middle line. 
like that. So now it's a 7B7 color code. So this is a coded ender chest. So it will be on that specific storage network. This will then allow us to import stuff no matter where we're from because it's all gonna be stored in that same, this is gonna be stored in that same color coded network. And what that means is, so this has a, th a three by three area to store things in, but it stores them based on the color coordination here. So this 7B7 is what network this is on. And when we place the other one and we put blue dye on it, like so, let's break this. If we store something in here, this one also can see it. So now these are gonna be on the same exact network no matter where we put them, whatever dimension. So let's set this up like so, and let's get some speed upgrades on this thing so we can quickly pull things out uh, while we are using that quarry. I believe the quarry will do exactly what I want to do. I could be wrong. I've only used the chunk destroyer. I've never used anything below that. But let us see if I'm correct in how I'm gonna set this up. And we're, the reason we're using ender chests, those ender chests, is because it can reach through dimensions. Uh, it's a little solution that I like to use. So I'm gonna do this, then do this, and put the advanced pipe upgrade in here so it pulls things out. And I think this needs power. It might need some upgrades as well. Oh, nope, looks like it's working. Okay, so this is super slow. Is it dependent on how much power it's getting? That's not too bad. Things should be going into here. Yeah, they are. They're immediately getting pulled out. Yeah, we can't even see them. But what we can do, I believe, is this. Oh, it's because it's claimed. It's not going to do it, huh? Is that right? Hmm. How can I... I have to go to my team. I have to allow all fake players. Right? You allow fake players... Except, there we go. Okay, we need to break this and replace it so it restarts. Okay, so what I had to do there, since I claimed this area on the map, it couldn't work. Um, because whenever you use a block like a quarry, it can't mine, as you see in the bottom, it contains protected chunks, quarry has stopped. It can't mine what's here because it's technically using a fake player to edit the blocks. So I hope that me allowing all fake players makes it able to work. I can hope so, I really do hope so. It looks like it's not going to. Maybe I need to go into here and unload that. And let's see if I place it again which is gonna be annoying for me because I have to redo all of this. Let's place this. It's ready to build. Then wrench and place this here and do this. Can I now claim it afterwards? So this should be force loaded, I hope. The area that I'm in, right? It should be force loaded and hopefully it'll work while I'm gone. Gosh, I hope so. Let's check our storage. Let's check dirt. It's going up, so it's still working. It looks like it's still going completely. It looks like it's still going to keep pumping. That's really awesome for us. So what this means is, no matter what we're going to go do right now, that quarry will still continue to work. And in the mining dimension, it goes from overworld, uh, deep dark level, then it goes to the nether, and then it goes to the end. So it has all biomes of uh, ore in there, and that's going to mine all of them and send them to our system. And I believe it silk touches them. I could be absolutely wrong. I don't know with this specific quarry that we're using, but it does work. It's definitely working, and that is really freaking cool. So now we have some passive mining going on until it's done, of course, uh, but... Once it's done, then we can just go in there, move it, restart it, and we'll be good to go. Oh, we got an award here. Oh, from the Wither. A rare award. Flux Dust. Which is from the Flux Network. Okay. I've never used the Flux Networks mod. I know a lot of people really like them, but I've never used them. Might be good for uh, wireless power and stuff, I think. But that is not what I typically do. Okay. 
that is another step of things that I wanted to do done. That quarry is going to keep mining and it'll get a ton of ore. We'll check our system afterwards. Let's go ahead and put another drawer onto our network for these ender predictions that are getting cooked up right now or from the generalized predictions. And then we can also have more room to put more stuff as we continue to get more and more things into our network that are gonna start filling it up, just like these generalized predictions. How much can you store up to, 512? So little when you have such a big drawer. Uh, let's actually upgrade these even further to the gold ones. Okay, let's put that on there and we'll just do that too. How much can this store now? 131K. Well, we're not going to need that much. We'll do 8,000. 8, eh, screw it. We'll just do, we'll just do that. Yep, that's fine. Now, the, oh, damn it. We need to pull these out still because they're not on the network yet. So drop these in here. Then since it's locked, now we can grab the network here and add this in. There we go. Now it's linked to the system and we can see it. Info. Okay. Oh man. After that little debacle. Well, now we have that quarry going. It's not going to get to bedrock anytime soon. Is it getting cobble right now? It is. Okay. So it's, it's mining cobble at the moment. All right. Which we might need to upgrade this, these three, uh, because it's going to be mining stuff for a bit. So we probably want to get ahead of this now so we can have enough storage to take all of that in. Yep, because this is going up. This will be going up as soon, as soon as well, and then this one. And then we're going to need another spot for end stone, which means we probably want to take this and move it right here. Grab the linking tool and link that back to the system. So we'll have that there, and then we'll put the end stone there. All right, all right, all right. Man, did you guys feel just how hectic this episode was? We were all over the place taking care of so many things. But that's literally just how all the mods is. You do this thing, you do that thing. Oh, you need to go back over here. Go do this. Go back over there. So I do apologize for that. If you guys were looking to see me complete just one particular task, we completed a ton. I mean, we did a lot. There was a ton of progress in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we're going to get deeper into things. We're going to go and get some netherite. We're going to go kill the ender dragon. And we have a ton more stuff that we're going to go try. So once again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all take care. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.